Hello and welcome to a little extra talk show showcasing extraordinary people and their little extras. Today we have Louis Doyle, a founder and a CEO of Needy. A lot of little extras that she does. She is a mentor, she is a mentee, she is a change maker. And very recently that she's embarked on an entrepreneurial journey. Let us ask her what inspired her to start Needy. Hi, thank you so much, Naveen. And thank you for that fabulous question. Um, I think to, to answer that question, I have to start by saying that, first of all, Steph, my business partner and me, we both love people. Um, and we both love nothing more than spreading positivity, empowering people. And I suppose, therefore, building a company that does that on a huge scale is pretty perfect for us. Um, the two of us were both those real passionate gift givers. We're those people that spend hours or weeks thinking about the perfect gift for somebody, um, you know, how it would make them feel um, so that they understand, you know, that we care and trying to package all that up in a gift. So um, it used to take us a long time to do that. And we would scour the Internet for hours looking for local businesses that we could support to do it. And sometimes it was tricky because they wouldn't arrive on time or the website didn't work properly or various reasons. So it was, it was quite a tricky area for us. Um, and we knew that with our passion for gifts and people that we could change the way that people started shopping for gifts and we could improve that. And as we started researching it, um, it just became more and more apparent to us. We found out, I think it's 84% of people find gift shopping stressful. 50% um, of Brits admit to receiving gifts they don't want. And one in five gifts go straight to landfill. So what inspired us to start Needy was the fact that we love people, love buying gifts, and we could see there's a real problem with the way the gift market currently is. <laughs> Wonderful. I think uh, it's addressing the sustainability factor too, both internally and externally. Internally, because it's um, helping to fulfill their need. And uh, externally, it is uh, stopping the landfill. So it's interesting uh, model, I would say, you know, uh, taking care of both internal and external. Today's theme uh, being seeking happiness on the path of life is ordinary. Seeking happiness on the path of life is ordinary. Adding happiness on the path of life is extraordinary, right? And needy, I see that, you know, interesting um, name. It's you're fulfilling the need that I have. At the same time, you have that I after the need. So uh, how did you come up with the name and, uh, you know, and how do you intend to adding happiness uh, to others? Right. I mean, the, the name itself, that's been really great fun. We had so many different workshops and we talked to so many people about it. Um, but ultimately, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, it's gifts that people want and need. And it's about putting that first. And I think because that, that stat that I told you earlier about the one in five gifts going to landfill was it really, really struck us because we felt gift giving is something so lovely and so caring and thoughtful. It's the, the fact that some are going to landfill and being bad for the planet, that's the opposite of what good gift giving should be. So I think that's where we really came up with needy. And a lot of our gifts as well, we, we have some fabulous handmade crafted things, but we have these amazing practical gifts too, um, which I'll, I'll tell you a bit more about those later perhaps in here, but gifts that people really need and not just want as well. Um, the second part you're asking about happiness. Um, it's a subject that's really, really close to my heart. Um, and it's something that Steph and I, again, we're really passionate about trying to spread that in any way that we can. So I think we both believe that positivity, empathy, those sort of, you know, real positive vibes, you know, they're as contagious as negativity is. So we've decided to surround ourselves, I suppose, with the most inspiring, talented, genuinely wonderful team of people that share our values and our vision. Um, so that includes our colleagues, it includes our handpicked amazing merchants that make all the gifts. And I suppose our aim is that every interaction that people have with needy, you know, whether you're a customer, a colleague, a contractor, 
we want them all to be a real genuinely positive and warm experience and that we're building that from the people that we work with. Um, I also, as well, another huge part on the happiness scale is needy genuinely strives to improve people's relationships. So um, I'm sure, you know, you know, gifting goes back through the ages, right? Right to the dark times when, you know, cave people used to give each other gifts. It's got a long history of, of doing it. And one of the core reasons that people give gifts is to strengthen that relationship. And, you know, it's actually been really proven that a thoughtful gift and on, on the polar opposite, a very bad gift can impact a relationship for your good or for the bad. And what we're trying to show people is it's, it's not just about how much you spend on the gift. That's not actually what's important. It's the thought that goes into the gift and the reason why you're giving them. And I suppose by using our psychology inspired gift matching questions on our website, we're really encouraging people to show that they care and strengthen those relationships in a really positive way by helping to match that perfect gift to them that, that says they care. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that was a little extra, right? You know, in terms of uh, gifting, it's just not about presenting something, but, you know, it's a method or a means to build relationships and uh, it's an opportunity. Yeah. Um, uh, brilliant. Uh, so very rarely um, there is a situation that, you know, the giver is also happy and the receiver is also happy. And in your case, um, you have not just taken care of that. It looks like you're building a big ecosystem. And, you know, even the ecosystem, the other members are also the, the you know, the suppliers, the business owners, they're also happy. So, so you're uh, literally, uh, you know, an, enlarging and, you know, uh, increasing the canvas size. It's uh, fantastic of happiness, uh, right? You know, so <laughs> the canvas of happiness is getting enlarged. So fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Like I say, it's something that it, it sounds, sometimes when you talk to people about it, it sounds very, you know, sort of airy fairy or aspirational or whatever. But I think we've really, we've just personally experienced that, right? We've, we've really experienced that the positive impacts that you as one human can have on all the people that you interact with. And we think, you know, that's great. If we can build a community of people like that, then, then that's absolutely fabulous. And the, the other thing I suppose just worth mentioning too is, even as people, the, the pure thought about buying a gift for somebody else, even, you know, it's been psychologically proved that as you're thinking about that person and thinking about the reasons why you want to buy them a gift, why you want to make them smile, how you want them to feel, that actually releases endorphins as well. So the person that's, you know, buying the gift is sometimes happier even than the person that receives the gift, which is lovely. <laughs> True. There are many platforms um, of gifting, right? You know, so how yeah. is uh, needy different or uh, doing something better or creating something new? Essentially, innovation at uh, needy. Yeah, cool. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, there's all sorts. You know, you've got your Etsy, your Amazon, you're not on the high street. There, you know, there are so many. You're right. Um, what needy does differently is, first of all, we take away that overwhelm. So I'm sure you've done it yourself where you've been maybe looking for a particular product or gift and then you have to trawl through pages and pages of similar gifts that all, you know, the same mug. They all look like really similar mugs for somebody or the same picture. And we take away that level of overwhelm by handpicking only the very best merchants that are out there with the top quality products that all share our values. So it means that if you're looking for a particular gift, you know, it's pinpointing those results for you quickly. And it's very easy to see the gifts that are perfectly matched to your recipient instead of spending hours looking through similar things. The, one of the other things that we offer as well is these completely, uh, such a broad range of gifts. Um, so like I say, whether that is you know, anything from dog walkers or cleaners or yoga retreats, um, as well as your handmade gifts and crafts, we've got experience days, we've got lessons. So we're really trying to, again, go down that route, gifts that people actually need that are practical. Home cooked meals. I mean, that's a fabulous gift or a babysitter. These are all things that we would like to have, but there isn't really one place you can get them all from. So I'd say that's probably another thing that makes us different. And then I guess the final thing is the fact that we're so focused on how that recipient is going to feel when they receive your gift. I think most of the other platforms out there are all about making you buy a product and trying to put you in that box. Whereas with us, we, we care about that whole gifting experience from the minute you start thinking about that person 
the minute they open the gift and how they're going to feel. We want to capture that reaction as well. And if we can share that between the person that buys the gift, the person that receives the gift, and the merchant, the person that made the gift, then that whole gifting experience is, is something pretty extraordinary. So what we're basically developing is this incredible psychology inspired gift matching algorithm that over time is going to get more and more intelligent with um, the more gifts that people are buying. And the aim is, is that we'll be able to really quickly and easily pinpoint the perfect gift to the recipient um, based on gifts that they've previously had, their reaction to gifts that they've previously received from needy um, and also other external factors like what time of year is it they're receiving that gift and when their birthday is so um, that's something that's currently in development at the moment and we'll be rolling that out with our gift scheduler which is something that I desperately need um, because it's embarrassing I'm, I am the CEO of a, of a gift company and I am terrible at remembering everybody's birthdays and things for gifts so we're rolling out a scheduler that will mean that people will actually be allowed that they'll get reminders before somebody's birthday with real perfectly matched gifts for that event to really help them wonderful actually uh, this also shows the little extra as much as uh, what people get to see is that gifting and the experience that they are um, having is with the gift but underneath you're building a smarter online retail solution. That's how I get to see it. And uh, all the very best for that too. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, can you illustrate um, uh, a little extra story where uh, you are able to uh, capture and uh, showcase the need for needy? Okay, the need for needy. I do you know what? I want maybe a, a real a real life experience maybe for myself um, where it would have been great, I suppose, is when I was um, when I was pregnant with Ella, um, I had some fabulous, fabulous maternity gifts from for many different people. Um, but they were actually, I suppose, an example of a, a couple of gifts I actually wanted and needed. And the first one was this fabulous rocking chair um it was more expensive I couldn't afford it but I really really loved the thought of it being in her nursery and, and having it and um and one of one of my best friends actually she spoke to a group of the girls and together they all put a little bit of money in and they bought me this rocking chair the exact one that I wanted and they gave it to me now needy would have been fabulous in that occasion because I could have had that rocking list or you know that rocking chair on my wish list that supported a local merchant and the girls could have gone in got it off my wish list and bought it for me straight away so that would have been a really fabulous one for something that I wanted and one of the gifts that I got that I didn't realize I needed was from another close friend and she actually bought me um, as my maternity present a cleaner for six hours and after Ella was born, you know, this lady came in, my house was a mess and she just came in and she made me feel human again just by cleaning up the house after I'd come back in. And again, you know, that's exactly the type of gift that we offer on Needy for new parents. Um, and, and, and again, I think that'd be a great example of where maybe it would have been really useful at the time. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, now you also demonstrated why you're extraordinary. In fact, I had a question ready for you asking what is your personal experience uh, with needy but you chose that itself as an example and you covered both the questions in uh, one before even i asked the question for you <laughs> so you have uh, started needy and where uh, you want to spread happiness uh, but as a child you know what was that you were seeking the happiness that you were seeking and, um, you know, what is that which triggered or the event or is there anything that uh, pushed you to move to the other side where you want to be a little extra and, and, you know, spread this happiness on the path of your life? I think it's, it's, it's a lovely question, Naveen. And I think for, for me, it's also it's, one, it's quite a deep question as well um, for me, too, because I think needy does come from quite a, quite a deep rooted place of wanting to spread this happiness as you've so rightly picked up on. Um, I would say that as, 
as a child, um, I had I had to look after my mum who suffered from mental illness. So she she was very depressed, and I suppose the happiness that I was seeking wasn't necessarily the happiness for me. I think it was the happiness for her that I was seeking. Um, and I remember, I, you know, I'd, I'd try and think of ways, obviously, you know, she should have up days and down days, right? Like everybody does. And I remember I would try and think about ways that would make her smile. And on the days when she wasn't feeling so great, ways to kind of show her that she was loved and that she was, you know, she was, yeah, she was appreciated. So I would write her little cards or I would do, you know, poems or things for her that I would write, you know, with lovely words that would explain it. Um, And sometimes I would make her outfits like crowns and lovely outfits that she could wear to make her feel really beautiful as well and and feel loved too. And I think, you know, even though I know now looking back, you know, I wasn't responsible and I could never have wholly impacted her happiness. um, I think that I realised there were little ways, little influences, little things I could do that had the ability to make her smile and had the ability to lift her out of a dark moment. And I think that I realised, you know, if, if I could do that with my mum, who was a really tricky person sometimes to, you know, to, to make feel good and, to, and to, to show that you care and appreciate when she wasn't feeling great, it showed me that I could kind of do that with other people too. And I think I learned a lot of skills very early on that allowed me to read people and understand people. And I I noted very quickly that the thing that made me more happy was not necessarily following things that were going to result in my happiness, but following things that would result in other people's happiness. That, that, you know, becomes a circle. And in turn, that was the happiest I would be. Quite a long-winded answer, Naveen. Sorry. You are getting me to be a little extra now. With this wonderful sharing that you had, I want to create a new a little extra quote. Mother adding happiness in child's life is ordinary. Child adding happiness in mother's life is extraordinary. And it's dedicated for you, Louise Doyle. So what were you doing and how was your uh, professional life uh, before you got into an entrepreneurial venture? Yes, um, I've always been, have always been really driven. I think, again, because I had to support, you know, had to earn extra money to make sure that I could help support my mum as well. Um, I've always been quite self-sufficient. So, yeah, I got into, um, I started working, well, really, when I was about babysitting when I was about nine. <laughs> I was doing probably bar work by the time I was, you know, a teenager and got into sales um, quite early on when I was 18. I got into recruitment and was recruiting for people there. And I think I always... Um, I always became the, the youngest or the first to kind of get somewhere. I think I was always striving to get to the next the next level. Um, so I left recruitment um, when I started earning some really good money because I decided I wanted to use that money to travel the world, which I know before this we were talking, Naveen, how important travel is to the two of us. Um, and I used, used some of that money to travel the world and, and experience the world, which was fabulous. I'm so glad I did because that actually got me a job working for um, a group of travel companies, a social enterprise. Um, and I worked there for oh, for many years and worked my way up um, from being a salesperson on the road to their, I think their first female and youngest ever director of the, of the group of companies, which was fabulous. And the biggest lesson I think I learned through all of that was you know, it, it, it doesn't matter really what your qualifications are or, I mean, of course it matters. Education is so important, but the thing that's most important and that I always have always did throughout that time is I always recruited people based on their, their personality, their vision, their drive, who they are. And it shows that, you know, if you have all of those right things and they match the ethos of the company, then you can go as far as you want. And that's exactly how we recruit at Needy as well. We look for people that share our vision, share our passion, and, and, and that's really what we look for. Oh, fantastic. I mean, feels like uh, keep listening to you because um, as you're sharing, talking, uh, you're actually adding happiness in, uh, in others' life. Um, so I'm so happy to be conversing with you and I'm getting inspired and so many little extras that you've had in your life journey. Right, which I'm sure uh, everybody else is who's going to listen, watch you, uh, is going to be inspired too. So today's uh, theme was uh, seeking happiness on the path of life 
is ordinary adding happiness on the path of life is extraordinary here was louise doyle who and her extras truly inspiring and uh, you know the needy that she's created is going to fulfill many many more people's needs and uh, bring a smile on their face and the happiness that she's going to be spreading all the very best uh, for you in your journey of building and uh, bringing many many uh, people um, to be in that happy state right best wishes thank you so much navini too thank you for having me